Okay, where are we and why are we here? I'm an elementary education major at U of L, and I'm at JV Atkinson for class. We have EDTP 311 and 320 here at the school, and it's a really, really great experience because we get to actually get in the classroom and get hands-on with the students. We learn about conferencing with reading books and picking student-interested books and doing different kinds of guided reading lessons and writing lessons, but instead of just learning about it, we get to get on and do it firsthand so we get to actually have the practice that actually really gets us to get it going. And your assumptions and how you've changed since being here? My assumptions whenever I came in here were, I don't know if I can do this. Being in this kind of demographic school, I had never had any experience with it before because I'm from Indiana and we don't have those, but actually getting in here and seeing how they run the classrooms and how they handle the situation, these kids are so much brighter than anyone would ever think. So it's a really good program to get in here and get to see how you can handle those demographics and the different things that you can apply. Good? Excellent. Okay. <laughs> okay, why are we here and who's met with you? Um, and how do you work with her? Okay, we're here at Atkinson Elementary School and I'm a U of L student. And this is Micaiah, my resiliency writing partner. Um, and we do a lot together um, with writing, she made a story, she created a story about her own life and how she was resilient and we worked together conferencing multiple times um, every Tuesday and she learned, I learned a lot just by working with her. Um, she taught me a lot. I went in and I was kind of scared about the whole idea of doing the project. I didn't know if I was going to be prepared. I didn't know um, what I was supposed to do technically and I learned along the way. Um, she's a bright student and I was completely shocked with her ability to write and create and her ideas and her technology. We use technology to create the movie and she went on and did it all herself and was teaching me how to do it. So I learned a lot just by working with her. Excellent. Excellent. Yay. Excellent. Yay. Okay. Who are you and why are you here? My name is Nancy Neville and I'm a U of L student and I'm here at JB Atkinson to work with students and learn to be a teacher. And this is my partner, Madison, who I got to work with for a writing resiliency project. And what is that project and how has it impacted you working on that project with these students? Well, Madison got to pick a time in her life where she was resilient in something. And I was there to help her guide through the writing process. We drafted her piece and then we got to use technology to create her story digitally. And she got to pick pictures and record her voice to do her story. Okay, and what do you think the impact of this type of programming has on both students and, and U of L students, students here and U of L students? Well, being able to come in and work hands-on with students really helps us gain perspective in how to talk with students, not just a student-to-teacher relationship, but a person-to-person -person relationship. And we get to talk and communicate, and you learn how to get on their level and talk about something that's important to them and how they can grow as a writer. Okay, one more question. Has your assumptions changed about teaching or teaching this particular population of students after being here? Um, not necessarily. Seeing what um, they have to cope with and deal with coming inside the school, working with not only what they have to do in school, but outside of school, and coming in with, you know, not necessarily baggage, but having to deal with out other things. And they come in and they are resilient just being here and being able to work and being able to focus on their writing, their reading, their math. And, I mean, these kids are amazing. And so I think not necessarily my assumptions changed, but I can appreciate them a lot more, and they're fabulous people. Okay, that's how the follow the go. red. Yeah, follow the red. <laughs> Focus on the red. Well, today we are here to celebrate uh, the culminating experience of a writing resiliency project that students 
uh, taking EDTP 311 and 320, have been working on all semester. There's three sections taught by Miss Tammy Davis and myself. And um, all semester long, the U of L students have been partnering with fourth grade students in learning how to write stories and learning about the writing process. And along the way, also learning about resiliency uh, and the importance of resiliency. And so this is a culminating project now where today the fourth graders, which we have two here, are getting to have an authentic audience and will get to share their digital stories. And so along the way, of this semester-long process. Uh, the UofL students and the fourth graders have learned a lot about the Kentucky Common Core Standards in Reading and Language Arts. We've learned about the new teaching standards related to um, digital literacy and so forth. And um, now we're here to celebrate our stories. And we've learned that the best way you can get to know people is through uh, having conversations with them. We've had some great conversations this semester with our partners here today. I liked it because um, working with our UFL partners is fine and they, and they can teach us a lot of stuff. How have, how have, what have you learned specifically? I mean, exactly. Well, I learned how to do photo stories uh, and this is like, it's, this is my first time doing a photo story. And you liked it? Mm-hmm. Have you liked coming to school on days you do that? Yes. Let's say it. I like coming to school and doing it, doing uh, my photo story with my U of L partner. Good, good. Now, what, we want. What, what's the best thing? What's the fifth, what's your favorite thing about working with your U of L partner? Doing the making the photo story. Why did Why did she make it fun for you? Because we got to find pictures and uh, and record with each other. My name is Maisha, and I like working with my U of L partner because she teaches me how to type really fast. And when we found out our pictures, when we were looking at the pictures where I found, I was looking for babies sleeping in a crib, we was, we started saying all oh, because we saw cute pictures. And my favorite part was finding the pictures. And what 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 do you like about school here at Atkinson? I like. What I like about school is that when you, well, let's say if you're working with somebody, it's, it's like you are not really working. It's like you're having fun. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do you want to do when you uh, grow up? Well, let's say I want to sing. And what have you learned here now that might help you? Not to be afraid in front of a camera. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is it you want to share? My name is Amber Johnson and I'm a U of L student here on working on site at JB Atkinson Elementary. And I will say that being here has absolutely changed my life. I'm from a rural community from Nelson County. So the thought of even having to come downtown to the Portland area scared the daylights out of me. And I will just say that, can we start over? I'm sorry, I was trying to, I'm, so, yeah, I was trying to start you over. You guys are, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're picking you up. Okay, I'll start over. Okay, that was ready? good. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Yeah. My name is Amber Johnson and I'm a U of L student who's had the opportunity to work on site here at JB Atkinson Elementary. And I'm from a rural community, so the thought of even having to come to Portland scared the, the daylights out of me. But I really enjoy being here, and being in this school, working with these students has changed my life. Um, I've got stage fright. Well, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get the door. Being here with these kids have cha has changed my life, and I really can see myself working in this area now. Before I... From what you hear on the news about this area, you know, I was just a nervous wreck to come here, but it's totally not what I thought it was going to be, and my assumptions have, my assumptions have changed, and I, I could definitely see myself being a teacher here. I feel like these kids are no different than any other kids, and they work hard, and they're resilient, and I mean, they're just like any other kid. Great. Right. Good, good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Okay, go ahead. 
Hi, my name is Kendra Friedenstein, and I am currently a ju junior at University of Louisville, and I'm at J.B. Atkinson taking cl two classes, EDTP 311 and EDTP 320. And I think that this school certainly sets itself apart from other elementary schools because each morning the whole school congregates into the gym for um, their morning meeting, and they go over being resilient, having teamwork, what classes have been doing great in past weeks, but I think what really sets them apart is that before they go to class, they always say um, each day is a day towards college, and each grade knows what year they're going to go to college. So, for example, they'll say fifth grade, what year are you going to college? And the fifth grade will shout at the top of their young, young lungs, 2020, 2020, and even down to kindergarten, they all know what year they're going to college, and you don't see that every day. Other, other students from other schools probably don't know what year they're going to college. So I think that really sets their bar up and makes them different, sets them apart from other elementary schools. I'll ask you a question. Just look at me. So um, how has this program impacted you? Personally, I, I just, the care and the attention that all of these students are getting from their teachers, I think, is really what's making them love coming to school and l re learning and reading and writing is because of the time and the efforts that the teachers put into the students themselves as individuals and not just on their grades or their lessons that they're learning. They're investing time in the students. Mm -hmm. But you personally, have you? Has yes, it's, it's definitely affected me and how I want to run a classroom and how I want to um, impact my my personal students and to see them grow personally and not just see them focus on one assignment or the next grade that they're going to get, but to really internalize what they're learning and be able to apply it now and as they grow up. So are, are you seeing a, 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 like a, a connection between the UofL students and the Atkinson students? Yes, definitely. Um, we We've um, worked with resiliency projects for fourth grade, and we do book buddies in the morning with all grades. And I know if I'm not there for a book bag, then my kids are really sad, and they'll mention it the next time. Or if I'm walking in the hallway and their class is going somewhere, they'll all stop and tell me, I finished this book, I want a new one, and I loved it. And I just really think that's giving them a positive message for reading and keeping them reading besides feeling like it's an obligation for school. Great. That's really great information.